Hi everyone, Donna here, and we are doing another character video today. We're doing one that is quick and fast, and that is a deer. Now, I didn't have any brown tops. I got plenty of brown skirts, but no brown tops. So if you have a brown top, go ahead and wear your brown top, and then we're gonna show you a really quick and simple way to do a deer. Um, I put my hair in two ponytails and then just kind of rolled them and put them in with bobby pins to look like I have little ears. And that's the way you can do like a teddy bear one too if you wanted. So then we're gonna take a bronzer and we're gonna add some color here with the bronzer and then we're gonna put the white spots on. So I'm gonna add this bronzer. Hi everybody, I'm Mary. So we're not actually going to do the entire face you could if you wanted to but then we're going to do the little black nose and that pretty much completes it it's a very quick and easy one to do so you're going to want to take um i don't have an ankle brush so i'm just using this fluffy one and you're going to bronze up your whole face you want to get it pretty dark on there because I mean, deers are brown, so... <laughs> that plus the white spots won't really show, especially if you're light-skinned like I am. And I already have my foundation on. I just used a little bit lighter one today. Yeah, so you want to do your foundation and your concealer, of course, prime and do all those steps. If you want to see a full um, uh, video of us doing her makeup, you can go ahead and look on the channel. There's lots of videos where we do her whole face. So first, when you bronze your um, cheeks, you're going to want to go from the top of the ear down. And you're gonna blend this out onto the rest of the face because of course we wanna look really bronzed and golden. You're gonna be a deer, so it's you wanna look very bronzed. And then um, up here, you're gonna go ahead and do the temples, but you're gonna um, do it right on top of the eyebrow. And you're gonna do this whole area here. So you want it to kind of blend into the eyebrow. And um, you can do a little bit of blending on this part. Um, like here, I can see that she has some harsh lines. So I'm gonna blend those in a little bit. Um, but you mostly just want it to be a very thick layer of bronzer. So you look like a little brown deer. So I'm just going to blend that into the middle of her forehead like so. Um, keeping it mostly on the top up here. And you're just going to basically go around the whole shape of your face. I'm even going to do a little bit on her jawline here to give just dimension to the entire face. So now, okay, so now that you're looking nice and very bronzed, um, we're also going to put some all over the nose. Um, we're going to do mostly the sides because I'm not gonna like fully contour, but we kind of want to add some like dimension there. So you're just gonna dust this all over the nose, like so. She's looking like a little deer already and like a golden goddess because this is like shimmery, this bronzer. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch over to the eyes for a minute. And we're gonna do the whole eye look here um, before I get before I switch to the rest of the face. And it's kind of oh, I thought it was yellow, but that's just the sunlight coming through. Yeah, that's like the picture just made right here. Yeah, it's mostly like brown everywhere. <laughs> so we're just gonna use this beauty counter brow tint and. Um, just give her some natural looking eyebrows. Doesn't have to be too perfect or too intricate. Um, just give her some nice deer looking eyebrows, <laughs> kind of. So 
So I kind of use my brow gel as like a mascara almost. I like to get it onto like all the little hairs. And I just brush it onto the hairs like so. Now that we're done with the eyebrows, we're gonna move on to the eyes. This needs to be blended a little better because it can be, it's almost like a straight line. Yeah. So it's gonna to have a little bit to blend up just a little bit better. But then I think as we put the dots, I wanna know the spots. Did you see what I mean? Yeah. And we want it like in your eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> I do see what you mean. Do you? I think I'm gonna just blend some more, like yeah, here. Look, that looks better. I'm much better. See, yeah, perfect. Way better. We're just gonna blend it into her eyebrows here, cause we kind of had a little line going on. We still kind of do. If you guys can't see that, I think it just might be the lighting, cause you have tons of bronzer, like all over i think it's really just a lighting okay um so now we're gonna do the eyes and i'm gonna go ahead and do the same bronzer that we've been using um it you kind of want to give it a look like this brown color is naturally on her face so we're gonna use the same bronzer and just um put it all over her eyelids and I'm mostly gonna do like the crease and upper areas here but you do want to put a little bit on the lid So yeah, like I said, just use the same bronzer to um, cover the eyelids. And the one great thing about this is that if you have fallout, just blend it in. Just blend it right into the skin because it's all pretty much brown and this glowy bronzer kind of color at this point. So you do want to blend that kind of up into your eyebrows a little bit because we do have it makes this area in here look really white. <laughs> yeah, right? You look awake. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of that, we're going to try to blend it more onto the cheeks over here. And I think we're just going to grab a little bit of blush and you want to put like a very small amount of blush, just very natural, very light. What color are you using for the outlet then? Um, we're using the uh, Pharmacy Tender Arm Blush and this is in the color Fresh Peach. Okay, so it's a peachish color. Yeah, so you want to use like kind of a peach and just put that like right above your... Um, your bronzer here. So like right up here on the cheekbones. Just like that. I don't know if you guys can see that very well on the camera, but it looks really good in person. So um, so now that we've done that, I'm gonna add a little wing to her. Wing, what? I'm gonna add a little eyeliner. <laughs> Do yours don't have wings? <laughs> Well, okay, so I am going to do a winged eyeliner, but I I just said it wrong. So we're going to do a winged eyeliner here. Um, she likes smaller rings, so we're going to go for, like, just something a little more natural right now. We're not going to do, like, a huge wing on the eye. But we do want some... Ooh, 
Okay, maybe we are gonna do a huge one. <laughs> so we're just gonna line the eye like so. Can you look at me? Okay, so the lashes will cover up the powderiness of her eye lashes and stuff, and we'll put some mascara there. Um, we're also going to do some white um so okay so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this black pencil close your eyes again and i'm gonna create like a wing in this outer corner so it just gives her a little bit more like doe eyes so we did that little inner corner thing and now i'm gonna take this white pen 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 this thing, we use this, these a lot. They're from Amazon. They're called the DNM Bling Eye Stick, and this is the white one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a white line under here. I'm doing it on the waterline? Um, I'm doing it sort of on the waterline, but sort of on the lash line because she doesn't do very great with the waterline, so I just kind of put it more on the lash line because um, she has sensitive eyes. So I put it more towards the lash line here. And I'm gonna fix this one a little more, sorry. Okay, so now we did the white. And then we're going to do this little sort of wing at the, at the end here. I'm going to use this, uh, this black eye stick to do it. And it just is going to kind of go downwards uh, because we are going to put some bottom lashes. So it's going to be like a downwards wing sort of for the bottom lashes. And it looks like that. And then uh, I'm gonna put some of this white in her inner corner here underneath that little kind of wing thing that I already did. And I'm just gonna connect it to where that lower lash line um, thing I did. This wing is way bigger than this one. Oh, it is? The one pointing oh, up right here, yeah. Cause I can see it from back here and the other one I don't see. <laughs> okay, so oh, it just goes up more. Mm -hmm. It's like a more of an upwards. Yeah. Does that look better? There we go. Yeah. Now they both match. There we go. I give that more. I don't more think more I've ever head. told her she didn't do enough wing before because usually I'm like, no, don't do it. Don't do that. <laughs> um. So now we're gonna do a very fun portion of this look. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the little nose. So what you wanna do is you're just gonna create like a sort of like oval type of thing. It just, just follow what I'm doing, you guys. Um, you're gonna just create like a little circle kind of thing here. And we're gonna fill that in with the, and I'm using the black uh, little pencil that's the same brand as the white one. And I'm just using this to kind of roughly fill it in and then I'll go in with like a darker color because this one's kind of more of like a gray black. So there we go, our little deer nose. And then I'm gonna go over it with this 
Pharmacy eyeliner pen pencil thing. Okay. Um, now that's that. Now that that's done, I'm gonna let that dry, and we're gonna create these adorable little white dots all over the face. So what we're gonna do is use this white uh, crayon that I've been using this whole time. It's an eye crayon, by the way. It's yes. not like crayon out of the crayon box. Just, just so you know. Um, also, I realize that you want to actually cover like the whole tip of your nose. So like all of this, you just want to cover it all so you can't see the tip of your nose. There you go. So yes, now we're gonna use the white dots and we're just gonna put some, um, we're gonna put some on the nose here. We're gonna put like one here. Oops. And since she already does have makeup on her face, I have to wipe this off each time to create these dots. So that's the only thing that kind of. So I'm just like twisting these dots into her skin and uh oh well that one looks good <laughs> that one's good it's opaque enough um I know it's kind of hard to see the dots over here but I just don't want to use the whole stick And the thing about these dots is that you can kind of just put them wherever you think looks good. So we're going to do a couple over here. And we're going to fix this way. This one right here. Maybe put some glue there. Okay, and now that she has all these little deer, deer type of dots all over her face, I'm actually gonna fix some of these a little better. So I know it's a little hard to see some of them. Can get up closer? Um, but I'm actually gonna put some white eyeshadow over them. So I'm gonna just use and maybe in this area here. Huh? No, they're, they're just on the cheeks up here. And I'm going to... Okay. Um, if you guys are wondering, we are using like a reference picture from a couple of different um, deer looks. take this white again and which is basically bronze now um, and I'm gonna do like a little white okay well that's not gonna work never mind I'm not doing that <laughs> um, I'm 
Okay, everyone, so I just took this little white eyeshadow from the um, this little pharmacy trio. This is called Ultimate Smoky. And I just went over some of these dots with this white eyeshadow um, because the eye set, the, since this is a uh, cream that I used to make the dots, um, the powder from the eyeshadow just kind of sticks to the cream and gives that look that I've been going for. So we're just gonna cover all of our dots in eyeshadow. And if you don't wanna have to do both of these steps, you can get a um, white eyeliner or a white face paint, but we don't have any of those today. So this series is all about like working with what you have. And so this is something you can do um, if maybe you don't have white face paint. So as you can see, she's got all our little dots. I'm actually gonna add one more over here because she has more on that side than on this side. Actually, I have two over here. So, and then it just gives you that kind of fawn like look, and she looks like a little deer already. Um, and then so for the nose, we are going to make like a white little line and this will just stick on because this is also cream on the nose. So we're going to make a little white um, line here, just like so. Here, let's see, I'm going to fix it a little bit, make sure it's even. Okay, so next we are just going to um, do her lips. Um, now your lips can really be any color. Uh, I'm just going to use something that's natural so she can look more like a deer. Um, so we're just going to use this. Elf Seriously Satin Lipstick in the color Taffy. And I'm just going to put this on her lips. And as you can see, it's pretty close to, well, I don't know. It's, we just went, wanted to go for like a pinky color on the lips. Okay, so now that we have that natural color on the lips, the last thing that we're going to do is apply some eyelashes, and then we will be right back. Okay, so here is our finished deer look. Um, there's the ears and the face with the white dots and the bronzer. There's some bronzer under here, but we didn't put white dots there. Um, the little button nose, so cute. And yeah, very simple and all you have to do is wear brown clothes and that's it. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah. thank you, Miss Mary, for helping with our look today no and problem. hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Don't forget, like and share it. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. So every time we upload a video, YouTube will let you know. Okay? Bye! Bye! I use it. <laughs>